The title of the story is Zapato Power. In this book, this kid, Freddy, gets these really cool sneakers that gives him some superpowers. Let's see how he got these sneakers and what his superpowers are. Zapato Power. So this is a chapter book. And as you can see, there's lots of different chapters with different titles. The first one is A Thump in the Morning. And that's the one we're going to read first. A Thump in the Morning. Thump, bump, thump, bump, thump, bump. I sat up in bed and rubbed my eyes. Thump, bump, thump, bump, thump. Bump. Who was making noise so early on a Sunday morning and right outside my window? So here's Freddy and he's wondering who's making this noise outside of his window. And look what he's holding. He's got sneakers in bed. Let's see what happens next. Crash! Wah! It sounded like broken glass and somebody crying. I grabbed my purple sneakers. There was no time to get dressed. Somebody at Starwood Park needed help. Maybe even a hero's help. And with my purple sneakers, I had Zapato Power. That's super speed, the kind superheroes have. Zoom, zoom, zapato. I ran outside in my red and blue pajamas. My purple sneakers were smoking. I was ready to help. Wah! Ruff, ruff. Gio, my next door neighbor, cried while his little dog puppy barked at a big hole in Mrs. Tran's window. Look at this hole here. Oh my, I wonder what's happened. Let's see. Did you break that window? I asked Gio. My ball broke it when I bounced it on the wall. Puppy agreed. Ruff, ruff. Gio is five. He only goes to kindergarten in the morning. He hasn't had time to learn a lot of things, like how neighbors don't like basketballs crashing into their apartments. Watch out, I shouted. Mrs. Tran hollered something in a language we didn't understand and threw Gio's basketball out of the hole in her window. The ball bounced on the sidewalk and rolled down the hill to the street. My ball, Gio cried. He chased after it, but the basketball was way too fast for him. And a red car was coming around the corner. If Gio wasn't smart enough not to bounce a basketball off a window, he might not be smart enough to stay out of the street. It was time to use my super speed to save the day. Zoom, zoom, zapato. In one blink, I was at the curb, scooping up the ball, just as the red car sped by. You saved my ball, Gio said, as he rushed up to me. You're fast. I sure was, with my purple zapatos. I could save a ball from going into the street. I could save a puppy from a speeding car. I could even outrun a train. But I couldn't save Gio from Mrs. Tran, his mother, and his sister Maria. What were you thinking? Gio's mom came down the hill with puppy at her heels. Why were you throwing a ball against the building? 
So here's Gio and here's Puppy. All right, and look at that basketball. Looks like they're pretty happy now. He's not crying anymore. Oh, oh, that's Gio, mom, and his sister Maria. Look at the look on their faces. Not good at all. Not good at all. All right, let's see what happens next. Who's going to fix my window? Mrs. Tran asked. You're in trouble now, Maria said. I'm sorry, Gio cried. Lo siento. Ruff, ruff, Puppy said. Everybody was barking, crying, or asking questions. I used my zapato power to get out of there fast. Zoom, zoom, zapato. In half a blink, I was at Mr. Vaslow's tool shed. He takes care of Starwood Park. If something's broken, Mr. Vaslov is the guy to fix it. I knocked on the door. Freddy, Mr. Vaslov said when he saw me, what are you doing in your pajamas? I looked down at my blue and red striped pajama pants. Superheroes don't always have time to get dressed, I said. Mr. Vaslov smiled and waved me inside his tool shed with a screwdriver. I looked around at all the tools and cut up computers. Mr. Vaslov does more than take care of Starwood Park. He invents things. Like special shoes that go 90 miles an hour. I have Zapato power because of Mr. Vaslov. So what's the problem, Mr. Vaslov asked. I told him about Gio and Mrs. Tran's window. He picked up a broom and started out the door. Time for some cleanup, he said. Do you need help, I asked. Mr. Vaslov pushed back his bushy gray hair. Sounds like everybody is pretty upset. I'd stay out of the way for a while if I were you. Just then, we heard the metro train rumble on its overhead track. Oh, there's a train coming. In the back of the building, my feet started to tingle in my sneakers. I waved at Mr. Vaslov. Then I took off. Zoom, zoom, zapato. Okay, next time we will read chapter two. And we're going to go ahead and stop right here.